back again so again if Google Scholar just before we go into Medline I remembered something if this doesn't upload always uh, export always always come here look into the citation type look into the libguide to see how to import it in EndNote I come to EndNote import a file and then I choose what it is okay see there's no importing option here why because I'm not in the local library, I'm in the online search mode. I have to come to the local library, this button to be able to import the files that are already there. Usually it's EndNote import or EndNote library. I'm not sure in the libguide it states correctly for Google Scholar in case it doesn't open. In Macs, you guys make sure that this does not show. There's a button here called options or change that you have to click for this import option to show okay going to Medline how do we go there it's either from the frequently used databases or under physicians looking up articles or under databases I click here to Medline this is the first page that opens the first three I don't touch they're browsing for books journals and these are for the from here to here yes I can go over in Medline I can either select on the select box and then click OK or simply click on the uh, database that I want. What's the difference between own the date? This is the most uh, thorough one. So I'm gonna go I uh, fever. Oh come on. How come it says keyword when I'm telling you this is a bibliographic medical database which is the right way to search it says here map term to subject heading so whatever synonym you key in it's gonna map me how did PubMed map automatically this is how it does it in Medline and it highlights for me the mesh that I want see here the explode and the focus if you click on the blue hyperlink it would give you the mesh tree the wow of the medical database so without me coming and exploding it will automatically take the number of the results here and or it with the remaining which is what I want I'm gonna explode the first concept and automatically it's gonna give me the subheadings I'm not gonna indulge into explaining this this would take another session and then I continue I'm gonna be selecting all the subheadings at this stage then paracetamol the second concept is paracetamol But if you want to know more about these, please visit the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel. Uh, it explains everything about the expo, the focus, the differences between them. I'm going to provide it to you also in the uh, PowerPoint presentation if you uh, want that. So that's what it linked me to. If I'm not sure that this is it, I can always come to the scope and read more about it. I click on this eye. Analgesic. Yes, this is what I want. I don't know if I'm not I'm going to explode or not except when I click on the mesh tree if it doesn't have narrower meshes it's nonsense for me to explode like in this case so I simply click continue I scroll down until I see it blue selecting this or not selecting this it's as if I'm exploding all the subheadings if you see all the subheadings is 17,913 they're divided into administration and dosage adverse effects agonist 349 into analogs and derivatives analysis so on and so forth I'm gonna select all of them which is the same as clicking here or not clicking here this is the second concept the last concept is ibuprofen I want to see if I use this drug as an inter, uh, as a intervention versus the comparison with this one would it make any difference so I want the three concepts to be there so I'm combining combining three different concepts and this is again no need for me to export because there are no narrower meshes so it's 8720 articles I'm not gonna select any subheadings at this stage and then how do I combine I would combine them using an and can you see here when you're doing so much searching you would forget what you've done but Medline and such medical databases always put me syntax for me to remember. In PubMed, it says mesh. Here, the backslash means a mesh. And the EXP means that I have exploded this mesh, which is I took this 
mesh and everything narrower to it. And then I'm going to combine using an AND. Since this is a EBM th uh, question, I would always come to the limits for me to select. And it's a therapy question, and I click additional limits. I always select from the clinical queries what I want. I have always three options for me to select. Reviews, therapy, diagnosis, prognosis, qualitative, costs, and etiology. Since this is a therapy question, you can always select specificity, sensitivity, and best balance. It depends on you how much thorough you want your research to be. Sensitivity, you will get the more most number of results and specificity the less and this is the balance between them if i click on specificity since it's a therapy question it's the only case where i can look up the um, question from here the clinical queries and the publication types which is rct as for the rest i don't have the case control or any other uh, relevant publication type for the diagnosis and prognosis to select from here so only if it's a therapy you can select from the clinical queries or from the publication types and I click continue not yet this is a young child so it is between birth and not toddler not preschooler so two to five years or I can select all children and limit a search that's how I go for EBM questions okay so I got 37 results how would I explode this export this into Medline I can read, select what I want, or I can export up to 2,000 records at a time. It used to be 500. I asked the other people to increase it to 2,000 because we have a humongous number of systematic reviews going on and it's tedious for us to do 500 patches at a time. We wait for this until it's exploded. If you want to do the search again and you want to share the search with other researchers, where did number one go? It's here. Always, always in all the medical databases, you have an option to export your search strategy look it up in Medline it's here export by default you get a word document if you did not click this you won't be able to select the search history but I want to go to EndNote and I don't want just the citation I want the abstract and the subheadings as well by default it selects for me 1 to 10 which is the number of articles per page if I want everything I click all export into endnote citation analysis abstracts and export this is direct exporting but i try it again if this does not open then i have to come and select the right option for it it's still downloading now it's done i will click on it see now this time it's not direct exporting so i have to come and select it i go to endnote file import file and i choose it it is medline of it sp the import option is where is it where is it where is it here it is if it's not there then you have to come to other filters and select it and choose your folder where is the folder I think it's in the here it is open import now I would have the 37 for, uh, uh, results exported and then I'm gonna drag them Rename the group Medline. Say I have a website. There is two options for you to do it. You can either do it manually by clicking on References, New Reference, and you plugging in the information by selecting, for example, web page and plugging in the details and then clicking on the small close here so that you save. Nothing has been done here, so no savings. Or an EndNote web. Since you're going to sign up the first time and sign in every other time, there's an option called Capture. It will capture for you the, um, the information from the page and fill up the information for you and give you the option whether you want to save it in EndNote Web or EndNote Client. In EndNote Client and in EndNote Web and in any citation management tool, it's the software. It helps us in our lives, but we do not rely on it. Full stop. We have to come and look up the review the citation, the in-text citation and the out-text citation. Was it done correctly or not? According to this. So with step number three, always come and review your search. 
always double check the styles according to the listed here. Okay. Where do I find now? Um, where were I? Yeah, in Madline we've done it. Okay, we're perfect. In Embase, how to go about this in Embase? Okay, Embase, you cannot find it on the main web page here and the frequent use. So you have to come to databases and look it up. It will open like this. I'll show you a trick. If you go to Pico and type in In the population so fever it will give you the mesh directly and I want the intervention to be paracetamol we wait for it I raise my hands it will suggest for me I click on it it will by default explode for me the mesh it's non explodable here which is nonsense plus it would give me add 227 synonyms if I click plus on it or I click on it it will add for me the synonyms and then Afterwards, um, ibuprofen. Again, I stop and wait for it to suggest for me adding synonyms and add 3459 synonyms. And then I click here, show the 156 results. Not only this would show me the synonyms used for the drugs, but you can also come and see the drug trade names. This is a trick on extracting the trade names. So it added them all here. And on the left hand side, there's the drug trade names. I do want the age to be children, preschoolers. So I would come and limit apply. So instead of 1561 one results, I would be getting supposedly 161. This is combination of all the concepts together. So this is number one. Number two is 183. How do I export the search strategy? History, export. I choose usually into CSV folder. How do I export the 183 results now? I come down. I can click. It exports 10,000 at a time. So the 183, I can click them here and then export. It would give me another page, RIS Mendeley. I would choose this and then I click Explode. It would give me a download folder. Or I can search Embase coming into each, breaking down each concept alone again. I go to the M3 because now the mesh or the controlled vocab is called M3. I look up, if I want to see the mesh trees, I look up each concept alone. Come on, you know. See the download? I'm downloading now. And it's refusing to work. So the M tree, fever, is the first concept. Again, I leave it. It would suggest for me. Just want fever. Find term. I click on it. It shows me the M33 now with the synonyms, which is the scope in Madline. And I click add to query builder. I, choose, I can choose to explode or not explode. In this case, it's nonsense to explode because there's nothing underneath it. Versus in Madline, there was underneath it uh, two narrower meshes. So you can see the difference between the two databases. Each indexing is different. The indexers in Embase are different than the in 